What's up, superheroes? Welcome back to my channel, the place where we make the impossible possible. If you're new here, hi. I'm Scarlett Grace, I'm a manifestation coach, and I help people break through their limitations and manifest their heart's desires. In this video, I'm going to share with you the fastest way to shift to the parallel reality you desire, the reality where your desire is already yours. But before we jump into this, if you want to learn how to manifest any desire fast with the law of assumption and Neville Goddard's teachings, then start now by hitting the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you won't miss any video that could change your life. I also have several self-study courses to help you manifest, including a 21-day course on how to manifest your specific person. And if you need some extra help or my personal advice for your situation, coaching is now open. You can find the links for all of those things in the description below. Alright, so let's talk about parallel realities and how to actually shift to the reality you desire very fast and without any problems. Now, in order for this video to make sense, in case you don't know about manifesting and about parallel realities, let me give you the gist of it. Here's how this works. There are infinite numbers of parallel realities. So basically, every possible version of the future, of the present and of the past already exists. It exists already, just not here. Here, where you are right now, the life you're experiencing right now, is just one version out of infinite versions of how your life could have gone. And this is what you inhabit right now. But they're infinite versions of how your life could have gone. And all of those realities, they're not just in your imagination, they actually exist. Now, what we experience as the present moment is based on our decisions, our thoughts, our imagination and our feelings at any given moment. What do I mean by this? So, where you are right now is your present moment. The future is the next present moment. So, when you get to the future, you don't experience it as the future. You experience it as the present moment. So, let's say right here, right now, you're sitting on the couch and you're contemplating having a beverage. And you're thinking, should I get a cup of coffee? Should I make tea? So, at this present moment, you're not drinking anything. In the future, you're drinking either coffee or tea. Those are two different versions of reality, and both of them have already been created. So, in other words, there's a version of you having coffee, and there's a version of you having tea. And from your perspective, those versions are both in the future. Now, if you get up and make a cup of coffee, that means that you chose the parallel reality where you're drinking coffee. The other reality where you're drinking tea also exists. You're just not experiencing it because you chose to have coffee. And this is how we manifest anything. Based on your decisions, like coffee or tea, you choose which version of reality you're going to experience. You jump to that reality. So shifting from one version of reality to another is not something weird or magical or something that requires a lot of effort because it is something that you have been doing your whole life. You're just not conscious of it. But just because you haven't been conscious of the fact that you're jumping from one reality to another your whole life doesn't mean that it wasn't happening. It was always happening. And I'm saying this because many of you worry that shifting from one reality where you are right now to your desired reality is difficult because you haven't done it before. But the truth is, you've done it millions of times in your life. There's nothing difficult about it. The only change here is that instead of doing it subconsciously and without realizing you're shifting from one version of reality to another, you're learning how to do it consciously. So now that you have a basic understanding of how parallel realities work, what's the best and fastest way to shift your desired reality? The best and fastest way to shift your desired reality is by changing the story you're telling yourself, either about yourself or about the thing you desire, and sometimes both. Here's why this works. We all have a story we tell ourselves about every area of our lives and about ourselves, about our identity, what we're good at, what we're not good at, what is likely to happen, what usually happens to us. But remember, all possible versions of the past also exist. So whatever the story you're telling yourself is, this is just one version of reality. This is the version of the past that you have chosen for yourself. Now, when you have, for example, a very negative version of the past, a very negative narrative, either about yourself or a specific thing in your life, let's say relationships or jobs or money or your health, anything, that means that automatically the realities you choose to shift into are based on that story. So the realities you shift into for your future 
are also negative. So let me give you an example. If you've never had money and you always struggle to make money, no matter what you did, this is the narrative you have about yourself. This is the story you're telling about yourself and about money in your life. And this is just one version of the past, but this is the one you've chosen. Now, based on that version, your subconscious mind will always take you to realities where you don't have money. So the future realities you subconsciously choose and shift into are versions of reality where you struggle with money. Because that's the story you've been telling yourself. And remember, the story we tell ourselves, our thoughts, our emotions, our choices, all those things determine what realities you're going to shift into for the future. And this is why sometimes when you want to manifest something that feels big to you, you feel that it's impossible or that it will be very hard to manifest or it may be very, very unlikely for it to happen. You feel that it's very difficult. When something feels very difficult, that means that the realities that you have kept choosing in the past are very far away from your desired reality. That's what it feels like. And this is because our minds are trained to interpret the world based on the story we're telling ourselves. So if you've always been poor and struggling with money and you've been telling the story of being poor and struggling with money, then your mind is used to expecting a future where you will keep struggling with money. And those are the realities you automatically shift into. Your subconscious mind takes you there because that's what your brain is used to experiencing based on the story you're telling yourself. Now, if you take your past, if you take your story and tell a better story about yourself in this area of life, that moves you closer to versions of reality that are more positive. So your subconscious mind will easily shift you to a better reality around money. And that is true not just about money, but for every area of your life. If you've been telling a very disempowering story about you and romantic relationships, for example, you are going to be taken to scenarios, versions of reality over and over that are not positive. But if you start changing the story you've been telling yourself and tell a better story about what happened, you suddenly get closer to better versions of the future. And you can more easily shift into those versions without experiencing resistance because those versions are a match to the new story you've been telling yourself. So basically, telling a new story is the thing that allows you to drop all resistance and get closer to the version of reality that you want, to the point that it doesn't feel like a very unlikely thing to happen anymore. All right, so now that you understand how and why this works, let's talk about how to actually start telling a new story. What I want you to do is I want you to pick a desire that you have or an area of life that you want to change. What is it that you want to manifest? Do you want to have more money? Do you want to have a better job? Do you want to have a new car? Do you want to have your ideal relationship? Pick one thing that you want to manifest, one reality you want to shift into. And let's work on that. So let's say, for example, that your problem area is relationships and you want to manifest a specific person. Maybe this person is your ex and there are all kinds of negative things in your mind about this person. What I want you to do is I want you to look at the relationship you've had with this person as well as all your relationships in the past. And if you can, write a story. So if you wanted to share with me your story of romantic relationships, what would you say? I want you to write it down because I want you to take a look at the story you've been telling yourself and other people up until now about you and relationships. Because from this story, you shift into realities that match it. From this story, you manifest your romantic life automatically. So I want you to write the story down just so you can take a good look at what narrative you've had up until now and how it matches the negative things that manifest in your reality. Now, once you have that, once you've written that down, what I want you to do is I want you to take a good look at it and ask yourself, is there a way to tell this story in a way that sounds better and feels better to me? So what I want you to do is I don't want you to change the facts. I don't want you to do revision. I want you to take the same exact facts and ask yourself, is it possible that the way that I have been interpreting this event is wrong? Or is it possible that I have taken that event and turned it into something super negative when it may not have been that negative? What do I mean by this? Maybe you have a story of how, um, for example, people are ghosting you in your romantic life. You go on a date, you exchange a few messages, and then the person disappears. 
and you have been telling the story of how you are not important enough and people ghost you. So is this the only way to tell the story, keeping the same events? How about if you told the story of how your subconscious mind is so clever that when you go out with a guy that looks nice but isn't actually what you want, you just don't know it yet, you manifest this person being removed from your reality so that you don't have to waste any time on them. So you have a specific desire to have a specific type of relationship with a specific person, somebody, for example, who is caring and honest and loving. And you meet this guy, you go on a couple of dates, the guy seems like the right person for you, but actually isn't the right person for you. There is somebody who is a much, much better match to what you're looking for. And your subconscious mind, because your subconscious mind is God, knows that this person right in front of you is not the best match for you right now. Maybe they're just pretending that they're nice and they're actually not nice. Maybe they have lied to you and you don't know it and you don't want to be in a relationship with a liar. So instead of telling the story of how people ghost you because you're not important or you're not good enough or you're unworthy, how about you tell the story of how you're so intelligent and such a good manifester that you basically weed out all the people that do not match the relationship that you want to have very early on so that you don't have to waste any time on them. Or if your story is about money, if you always work minimum wage jobs, but you want a career, something that uh, gives you a uh, six-figure income uh, per month, you're not going to get it working minimum wage jobs. So some people tell me I started manifesting a different reality around money and I got fired. And when I asked what their job was, well, they could never manifest having the income that they want working that job. So of course they got fired because the job they had didn't match their desires. That is not a negative thing. That is a thing that pushes you towards the thing you want. In the chain of incidents that lead to the manifestation of your desire, you had to get fired. This is part of the chain of incidents that manifest your desire. This is part of you shifting to the reality that you desire. It's not a negative thing. So why would people ghosting you necessarily be a negative thing? Why would you tell a story that is disempowering about yourself? Why would you tell the story of this happens to me because I'm not good enough? People don't like me. Men don't like me. Women don't like me. That is not the only explanation. That is not the only story you can tell around the very same facts. You can tell a story that is very negative and it is all about you and how you are always ghosted and that means all kinds of bad things about you. But ask yourself, what future realities are a match to this story? The only future realities that are a match to that story are negative future realities. So if you keep telling that story, you're going to keep shifting into realities where the same thing keeps happening or something worse may happen. If you change the story, if you take the ghosting and tell yourself, this is just how wise my subconscious mind is, I have this vision of my dream relationship and it weeds out all the people that are not right for me so that I don't have to waste a lot of time on them, that opens up realities where that is exactly what happens, where all the people that are not a match to what you want are weeded out and you end up with the one person that is actually perfectly right for you right now and matches all the feelings that you want to be experiencing in a relationship. If you're looking for a job and you have a specific type of job in mind with a specific income, uh, you want the job to be uh, some type of work with people that you actually like and you enjoy your work day and you enjoy the environment and you enjoy the food at the cafeteria or whatever and you keep going to interviews and you aren't being hired, you can tell the story of how you're not good enough to be hired and you're not qualified enough and there are not enough positions for what you want and you are destined to struggle and nobody wants to hire you. Or you can tell the story of how all those jobs, if you didn't get hired, they probably didn't match the vision that you have because you don't know about those jobs unless you actually get hired. And many people think they found their dream job and then they start working there and it's a nightmare. Start telling a better story about your life, about the very same events that you have been describing negatively up until now, and you will automatically shift to better versions of the future. And you don't have to radically change the story right away. So maybe you are at a very negative place right now, and your end goal, your end desire seems completely impossible. You don't have to automatically find 
the best possible version of the story that you could be telling about this area of your life or this person or yourself. You can just start by telling a better story. It can be just 1% better than the story you have been telling up until now and that opens you up to realities that are 1% better than they used to be up until now. And then after you tell that story for a few days, you can ask yourself, is there something that I'm missing? Maybe I can tell a story that is a little bit more positive. And it's still true. It's still real. And you tell a better story. And then even better realities open up. And then you tell a story that is even better. And then even better realities open up. Until you get to a point where the story you're telling and the desire that you want to manifest are practically a perfect match. And manifesting your desire, moving to the reality where your desire is already true, it doesn't look impossible anymore, it looks inevitable. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, then subscribe and hit the bell icon because I put out new videos every Sunday to help you manifest an amazing life.